I get lots of emails and comments asking if radios such as the classic Bofeng UV5R can be used legally or without a license. Many people ask me on what parts of the radio spectrum these radios are legal to use without a license. So today I thought I'd answer this question once and for all. The Bofeng UV5R and other wideband VHF UHF handhelds usually cover 136 to 174 MHz VHF and 400 to 520 MHz UHF. So I'm going to take you on a tour of this part of the spectrum and show you if and where you can use this radio and who else is using these precious and tightly packed frequencies. I thought of a few ways of doing this. Frequency by frequency was far too complex and long-winded, so I'll show you who's using the frequencies these radios cover by category for both VHF and UHF, and show you what licensing these radios may or may not require along the way. Starting with VHF and space science, and these frequencies are used in the operation of spacecraft, in particular space tracking, space telemetry, and space telecommand. There's also some frequencies for the Radio Navigation Satellite Service as well as Radio Astronomy. Next we come to some license exempt allocations which are used for things such as marine alarms, telemetry, lone worker safety alarms and a multitude of other applications, but traditional two-way radio voice comms are not permitted here. Then we come to public sector radio and these allocations are reserved for the military and business radio. Business radio users range from taxi companies and factories to hospitals, care homes, industrial sites and transport operators on both analogue and digital, simplex and repeaters. All of these frequencies require what is known as an Ofcom business licence which can be expensive. Moving on and we come to amateur radio and the 2 metre band. These frequencies can be used for radio tests, general chit chat and a multitude of other things but an amateur radio licence must be obtained first. This is inexpensive and requires the completion of a course. These types of radios start at 136MHz FM and in fact 136 to 137MHz is used by aircraft and control towers in AM mode so it's not a good idea to use frequencies in this portion of the spectrum without an aeronautical radio licence. A huge chunk of spectrum is reserved for maritime use, mainly marine VHF radio but there's also allocations for marine navigation, automatic identification systems and coastal marine stations. All of these frequencies require a marine related license. Now we come to business radio which is similar in ways to public sector radio. Technically assigned licenses authorise the user to use a variety of radio communication equipment across a large range of frequencies ensuring they're able to cover remote and crowded areas. An area defined license authorises the user of a frequency or frequencies in a defined geographical area. Suppliers who carry out servicing and repairs of two-way radios, hire out business radios and carry out certain other relevant services require a supplier's light licence which gives them access to a wide range of frequencies. And finally under this section is the simple site licence, formerly known as UK Gen or UK General. This is a block of frequencies allocated to business use and many people think these frequencies are free to use without a licence, but this isn't the case. Moving on and we come to PMSE or Programme Making and Special Events. PMSE is a term used typically in Europe for equipment that is used to support broadcasting, news gathering, theatrical productions and special events such as culture events, concerts, sports, conferences and trade fairs. These frequencies are used by wireless microphones, wireless cameras, helicopter video links and many other things. A PMSE license is required for all of these types of transmissions. And finally within VHF we come to satellites. Land mobile satellite service stations are mobile satellite services in which mobile earth stations are located on land. A non-fixed satellite earth station is a satellite earth station operating from a permanent specified location for the purpose of providing wireless telegraphy links with one or more satellites in certain frequency bands not allocated to the fixed satellite service. They're used typically for satellite telemetry and telecommand as well as for backhauling data associated with the observation of the earth and its weather. All of this also requires licensing. 
So now we've covered the VHF side of these radios, let's look at UHF and background to space sciences, and these allocations have similar users to their VHF counterparts. The Met Office also uses these frequencies as well as some time signalling. The license exempt frequencies within UHF are crowded with car key fobs, personal locator beacons, medical implants and model remote controls. Another big user is things like tyre pressure monitors and other vehicle sensors as well as innumerable telemetry devices. Two way voice comms aren't permitted within these frequencies however there is one license exempt allocation which is PMR446 and digital PMR446. Unfortunately however the Bofeng UV5R still can't be used here because it exceeds the allowed 500mW power allowance. Next we come to a large portion of spectrum assigned to public sector. Like the VHF allocations, the military can use these frequencies if required and there's also an allocation for business radio, taxis, security and the like. Crown recognised spectrum access frequencies are used by Crown bodies. These include arms of the government, the Ministry of Defence, public corporations and non-ministerial departments. Then we come to an amateur radio allocation in the form of the 70cm band. Like the VHF 2m band, users of these frequencies require an amateur radio licence. Next up is UHF Digital Terrestrial Television with a huge allocation of frequencies. There's also allocations for UHF aeronautical use. UHF radio stations are currently used for air traffic control, air to ground voice communications, for military aircraft flying as operational air traffic, and for the handling of non 8.33 kHz state aircraft which may operate as general air traffic or instrument flight rules in 8.33 kHz airspace. The provision for UHF for air traffic control is still far from being fully harmonised in Europe. Next is the UHF Marine Allocation which covers ship radio, ship portable radios and suppliers and demonstration. This latter licence is intended to enable a business to test, repair or demonstrate maritime radio transmitting or receiving equipment. A huge portion of spectrum is reserved for business radio. Users range from security, parking companies, taxis, events and everything in between. Like the VHF allocation, licences include area defined and technically assigned, suppliers light licences and the UK simple light licence. There's also allocations for converted spectrum access. Recognised spectrum access is a form of spectrum holding that's suitable for spectrum holdings that cannot be licensed and can be made tradable. Converted spectrum access licences are granted to commercial bodies that acquire spectrum rights from a holder of recognised spectrum access. Next we come to the UHF allocations for PMSE or Program Making and Special Events as discussed in the VHF section of this video. Moving on we come to a wireless broadband allocation which is used by Arkiva and Airwave, the UK emergency services radio system. Non-blue light services such as local government and councils also use Tetra systems within this portion of the band. And finally, fixed links is a spectrum allocation for things like the national grid and the energy companies for their telemetry systems. So that's a complex overview of the radio spectrum covered by radios such as the UV5R, and I hope it answers the really common question I get, that is where can you use this radio without a license? Nowhere. Thank you.